Mahatma Gandhi said, health is the real wealth, not pieces of gold or pieces of land. In this video, I am going to share you six step to achieve your health goals. How to frame your goals. So different goals, the physical goals, mental goals, what kind of diet you have to take, how much amount of water you have to consume and getting enough sleep. Also how to detox, how to purify your body, the purification practices and also the how to achieve these goals. Dosto, please prioritize your health and let's jump in to the six step game plan. Here I'm sharing my screen. Here is the six step game plan. I am going to explain you step by step. You just have to follow it and implement it. Have a pen and paper ready with you to note down all the points and work along with me. So the first step you have to work on is scan your current health. Very, very important aspect. First, you have to understand what is happening within your body. Understand what is your physical condition. Do you have any health issues like back pain or eye pain, ear pain or uh, any respiratory problems or diabetes, body pains, etc. Whatever problems you have, note down them. Unless you identify them, you are not going to solve them. So the, the there are like different kinds of problems like physical problems, mental problems and also emotional problems. So what kind of physical problems you are ha having and what kind of mental problems which is also important because 80% of the diseases, the root cause is your mind. So understand what are the mental problems and what is the root cause of that problem and what is the source of that problem is also very very important. Then set a tangible goal. For example, if you want to lose a weight, set a tangible goal. How many kilos do you want it to lose the weight? And set a realistic goal also as well, which is very, very important goal. So, and second, th third thing is like maintain the health diary. In the first step, the third thing is maintain the health diary, which will really help you to understand yourself, to keep the health progress. And fourth step in the first one is physical health. In physical health, to improve your physical health, there are different aspects you can consider. For example, you can pick up a sport, which is very, very like easy for you, also entertaining for you. And se second thing is you can enroll for any gym memberships. That is also fine. And third one is you can do like enroll for any fitness programs online or offline. You can even find some videos in YouTube channels. There are many creators in YouTube. Even you can follow my channel. I am coming up with different challenges. So you can follow those challenges and implement them, practice them. You can also do that, but select them. It's not that like you are going to do later on, but now because pause this video and select all the videos you wanted to watch and whom do you want to follow and are Else you can also join Zumba classes or any other workout classes online or offline nearby you etc. And also you can join our breathwork community. You can consider joining this which is because if you really wanted to implement, if you want an accountability because it's something starting something is easy. Quitting something is also easy. Taking it to the finishing line is the difficult part. So do you really want it to just start for two, three weeks because you are in the early of the year? Or do you really want it to achieve that goal? So then here is the community who are accountable for getting your tangible goals. So we have a community of the people who are like-minded, who are very supportive, who will be working together. And we have a coaching system which can really bring the results, the required results. You, I'll be coming online every time. You will be, uh, will be discussing on your progress and a complete modules recorded modules and live modules we have so you can really get the ta tangible outcomes and for, to improve your mental health you can practice meditation you can join any yoga practices you can also start journaling journaling is going going to help a lot and affirmations you try to read the affirmations or uh, imagine the visualize the affirmations like whatever you wanted to achieve really improves your mental health. You can do some mindfulness practices like uh, gratitude, um, many other practices like forgiveness or breathing practices is also very good. So whatever feels better for you. So choose one, one from this or one or two from this, whatever you are comfortable with. The second step is diet. 
you are what you eat very very important and crucial part we don't we mindfully eat we have to eat mindfully sorry we mindlessly consume whatever you see like you just put it in your mouth and your stomach so here are the few aspects you have to consider try to include some sattvic food and understand the nutrition capabilities because your food water is very very important in your body because that is what sustaining you your breathing your food and water these are the three sources for your body to nourish so what the nutrition like uh, to if you want to improve the nutrition and add the vegetables which gives which has many nutritional properties or you can also go for supplements whatever suits for you and uh, try to add some ayurvedic and seasonal foods very very important like seasonal fruits seasonal uh, vegetables you can add into your diet and try to eat food which is easily digestible when you eat, when you take some food which should be sweet and easily digestible within 2 hours so try to eat that and also the time very very important like maintain the timings like what time you want to have a breakfast and give 4 hours gap between your breakfast and lunch give 4 hour gap between your lunch and snacks etc and amount of the food you want to eat so we overeat that is what causes many problems because our digestive system can like always working on so there is no rest for it so try to uh, mindfully consume whatever you are eating do not overeat mindfully consume diet is the second part and third one is water warm water improves your immunity so if possible you can drink warm water it's not uh, mandatory but try to drink warm water in the morning which opens up your sinuses and gives lot of relief to your nose and also it improves your digestion and cleans your colon and etc and some of the detox water like jeera water or some uh, some other detox waters like which are abundantly available in internet you can also make with honey and lemon you can also drink with lemon and uh, some other like pudina or mint yeah so there are many detox waters you can find and you can add into your diet you can make arrangements very very important like so these are simple things like right so buy a bottle uh, like have a bottle like a copper bottle or a steel bottle or a glass bottle whatever you feel so try if you want to drink a warm water you have to buy a insulin water so try to map all the resources you need so you want your water so and make sure like its bottle is next to your office desk or wherever you go and if you want to drink warm water what do you want a kettle so try to map out whatever you want what are the resources you want do you if you want a detox water you have to bring mint and all those aspects uh, like whenever you go to the market you have to grab them and who will cook so if you both are working like your wife and you or you have to come up with a plan so make all these arrangements to make it successful otherwise it's just a knowledge you are just gaining and you feel happy and there is no results so fourth one you also have to take some time off plan your holidays at least one time in a year with family or with friends whatever you suits for you plan holiday first because later on your life will take over plan now itself so that you can plan uh, other things accordingly so take some time off and get enough sleep as a adult if you are adult who is watching this you need at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep do not compromise on your sleep very very important aspect and the fifth one is detox how you like uh, give service to your vehicles we also have to do service for this body so in yoga especially in yoga we have so many purification techniques how to purify our colon how to purify our stomach how to purify our nasal passages and mouth passages there are so many shat karmas and shat kriyas like jal neti where uh, from one nostril you will take the water from different nostril and sutra neti or uh, shanka prakshalan where you take water and warm it so there are so many purificatory practices if you want to learn you can learn those practices and practice them and try to clean your body uh, to 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 use 100% of your energies 
and panchakarma you can also consider going for panchakarma it's a ayurvedic treatment so they will do panchakarma like uh, panchakarma treatment you can also go for naturopathy massages or uh, naturopathy uh, naturopathy detoxes detox or uh, purification practices there are many you can search in the internet and the final one like how to achieve them right so we have discussed a bit but it's very very important first your commitment you should be committed it's completely about your mindset you should have a mindset to achieve that goal rather than focusing on the goal focus on the process process of the goal so commit to yourself and write a goal card goal card or a paper and stick it in in wherever you in your office desk or uh, uh, in your bedroom or wherever you can see that like whenever you see that you have to do that remember that like there are some like i give some of the elements in my students classes like uh, like uh, take a deep inhalation they'll write in a notepad and they'll stick it into their door whenever they see that they they take a deep inhalation so just stick it into the your fridge or wherever you possible and have a clarity people do not have clarity on their goals have a clarity on what do you want to achieve how do you want to achieve if if not possible for you get a mentor there are so many health coaches who can help you there are many coaches who are doing for affordable price you can also join our community level 1 program is very very affordable you can join our community and create a plan especially for your diet and other aspects try to create a plan for this season like it's a mango season you want to eat mangoes it's a uh, custard apple season like you want to eat custard apple what vegetables do you want to eat so plan out and take action from today take action and monitor or adjust your progress so these are the six six steps to achieve your health goals prioritize your health prioritize your health health is an important aspect whatever wealth you accumulated if you do not have any health you cannot use it so prioritize your health follow these six steps thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed this video please like the video and share it with your friends and also share your experience in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you bye